The Philadelphia Police Department has taken 72 officers off the street because of social media posts described as racist, sexist, and violent. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. Of all the issues that we have to deal with, this is one we certainly could have done without. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross is taking action. Nearly three weeks after the release of thousands of offensive social media posts allegedly linked to more than 300 officers in his department. 72 officers have been placed in administrative duty. It really makes me sick because we are in a position to know better. Earlier this month, a team of lawyers and activists with the Plainview Project revealed their findings. After painstakingly reviewing the Facebook pages of 3,500 current and former police officers in eight departments from Arizona to Florida to Philadelphia. One user writes, it's a good day for a chokehold. Don't feel like playing with the animals tonight, writes another. And a third posts an image that says death to Islam. Protesters in Philadelphia have been demanding the city take action for weeks. It's a turning point because they felt uh, the license to engage in, uh, in hate in a public way. According to its social media policy, the Philadelphia Police Department prohibits profanity, personal insults, and discriminatory material. We will not uh, be shy about meeting out the appropriate discipline. We need to get it right for the community that looks to us for protection and guidance. I mean, you effectively have faith in the police versus First Amendment rights. The uh, president of the Philly Police Union released a statement saying, quote, it's premature and irresponsible for the commissioner to tell the public that police officers will be fired without a complete investigation. And moving forward, the department here will institute anti-bias training. But I spoke with the woman behind Plainview. Its executive director told me that investigations are now underway in all eight police jurisdictions her group studied.